Okay, thank you, Lasky and Corda, and thank you, Deputy Smith, for agreeing to share your time with me. Every one of us can remember a year ago watching news bulletins and social media blasts of terrified men, women, and children in Aleppo. We watched in horror as civilians were killed on the spot in their homes. Bombs rendered hospitals and schools out of service, and thousands of people fled in search of safety. The fall of Aleppo demonstrated what happens when we fail to uphold international norms. All member states of the UN, including Russia and China, signed up to the responsibility to protect in 2005. The principle of this makes clear that states bear the primary responsibility to protect their own people from mass atrocity crimes. If a state upholds to face, fails to uphold this responsibility, as the Syrian government has repeatedly done, then the states have a moral and legal obligation to act. The international community failed the people of Aleppo. Now, less than a year since Aleppo fell, there is a major risk of other areas of Syria suffering the same fate also at the hands of their own government. In Idlib, around 2 million civilians, including many who fled in terror from Aleppo, are facing another major and indiscriminate offensive from the Syria government and its backers. The Irish government must do all that it can to prevent another Aleppo. In case anybody needs reminding, the conflict in Syria, the biggest humanitarian crisis in our time, is now in its seventh year, and since this war began in 2011, in excess of 400,000 people have lost their lives. That's four times the population of my own constituency, Kildare South, wiped out. Five million people have fled Syria, more than the total population of Ireland. 6.5 million people, again far more than our own population, are internally displaced and 13.5 million people are in need of humanitarian assistance. Syria is one of the world's, again, worst humanitarian crises and has been described as a living hell, and I have no doubt about that. And it is absolutely incumbent on all of us to voice our vehement opposition to such heinous crimes, oppose flagrant violations of international law, and seek a sustainable and lasting resolution to this conflict based on a political transition, a reconciliation process and the reconstruction process of Syria. The UN, in terms of support for the Geneva process, the UN needs to regain centrality in the peace negotiations, negotiations and for this it needs strong support from member states. The Irish government I believe, must do more, both privately and publicly, to support the Geneva process.